cool features under the hood of the Gen 2 3.5 liter EcoBoost. And uh, I want to talk about the internals of the 3.5 EcoBoost. And this goes for the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. They both have pretty impressive uh, resume when it comes to internals. So, uh, so with the connecting rods, you get forged steel I-beam connecting rods, which are proven to be about 20% stronger than what you find in a competition. Usually in GM product, you may see uh, powder metal connecting rods, which are still good, but uh, Ford Steel uh, has been proven to be about 20% stronger. Uh, on the Gen 1, you got a cast aluminum oil pan. In the Gen 2, you get a composite oil pan. Uh, both of them have a uh, forged crankshaft, which is uh, significantly stronger than the cast uh, crankshafts that you find in some of the other engines on the market. Uh, you can also get with that crankshaft six bolt main bearing caps, which is about as good as it gets when it comes to holding the uh, crankshaft in place. Uh, low friction coatings are used on the piston skirts, which reduce friction on the cylinder walls, and you also get piston cooling oil squirters. Uh, the compression ratio for the Gen 1 was 10, point, was 10 to 1, and on uh, Gen 2, it was bumped up to 10.5 to 1. The Gen 2 was released in uh, 2017 on the 2017 model uh, more on the pistons uh, the pistons use a high temperature aluminum combined with cast in place steel upper ring supports that technology was previously found on diesel engines and these steel supports are recessed below the top of the piston ring and act as upper ridge lands providing extra rigidity across the piston allowing for low, low tension piston rings to be used reliably in the turbo application. Used to have to use uh, really, really uh, strong uh, hardcore piston rings, which, which weren't the best for wear uh, in turbo applications, but this allows you to use a low friction piston ring because all the extra support is added into the piston instead of using just a really aggressive uh, piston ring. So, uh, new for the second gen that released in 2017, uh, the compression ratio was improved uh, 10.5 to 1 instead of 10 to 1 and the 2007 in the 2017 you got uh, dual injection basically gave you direct injection and port injection it gave you a injector for it gave you two injectors for every cylinder uh, one behind the intake valve which is used to clean the intake valves and uh, one right in the cylinder and that gives you uh, a little bit more torque a little bit more power and allows uh, not only for the cleaning effect, but also for more horsepower, more torque, because now you have more fuel and you get the best and the benefits of both worlds. So each cylinder has two injectors. All the injectors are in the valley, so I can't see them. They're under the intake manifold. Um, what else is new for the EcoBoost? For the valve train, you get stronger intake and, uh, and exhaust valves, uh, roller finger follower valve train operation which reduces friction along with uh, hollowed out camshafts removing about four pounds of rotating mass from the valve train uh, also you get on the turbos uh, on the turbos feature a the turbos feature a lighter uh, turbine wheel for improved response and electronically controlled wastegates uh, the electronically controlled wastegates allow for a lot more precise control over the boost because now they are computer controlled which gives you a lot more control uh, so the gen 1 had 365 horsepower at 5000 rpm and 420 foot pounds of oh what the fuck god damn it just just fucked my whole video up <laughs> how you doing man what's going on all right you all right? Yep, Jeff, man. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I can see what you're wearing, sir. Not much, just filming a video. Okay, yeah. Gotta make sure it's live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's definitely live. <laughs> what are you up to? Just hanging out, turning off for a holiday. Okay, uh, back to the video before I was interrupted. Uh, I think I'm good now. Uh, the second gen. 3.5 liter EcoBoost has 375 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 470 foot-pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. And the first gen has uh, 365 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 410 
foot pounds of torque at 2500 rpm so even though the second gen makes more power at a higher rpm according to ford at 2500 rpm it makes more than the old gen engine it just happened to make the max torque at 3500 rpm the gen 2 has 450 horsepower at 5000 rpm and 510 foot pounds of torque at 3500 rpm the second gen ecoboost equipped with 4x4 should see about 17 mpg in the city and 23 mpg on the highway and about 19 combined which is about 1 to 2 mpg better than the first gen according to ford's website if you opt for the max payload package with the 3.73 rear gear you can expect to see 16 in the city 21 on a highway and 18 combined this particular truck is equipped with the 3.55 rear end and the max towing package and it does get pretty close to those numbers and I can say that they are pretty much accurate so this is a 2018 like I said crew cab six and a half foot bed max towing package uh, it is rated to tow about 13,000 pounds I know that's a very debatable and very uh, debated hot topic um, uh, some other cool things I don't know if you know I've talked about this before in some other videos and some of the other cool features are this intake I think this intake is a cool little feature here um, you got like a ram air effect with this uh, your air comes in through the vents and it's got these little dams here you know these little air dams where air is just kind of trapped between here coming up through your these little slots here and funneled through this uh, opening kind of like a ram air effect I think that's pretty cool Ford has really done a good job of engineering all their intakes across the entire lineup of vehicles um, so that's pretty cool uh, some of the other things that I didn't hit um, one thing that's really interesting about this being the highest output of all the engines now with the 2.7, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost has an advantage of having integrated exhaust manifolds, which uh, that has a lot of benefits. And if you ever look at the Ford website and look at all the capacities, you will find out that the 2.7 liter EcoBoost has the largest coolant capacity out of all three engines. And I think the reason for that is the fact that it has integrated exhaust manifolds. So if you ever notice underneath the hood of a running engine, how hot the exhaust manifolds get the 27 doesn't even have exhaust manifolds it's just got turbos tied right in to the heads of the engine because the exhaust manifolds are literally cast into the heads and on top of that you got water cooled turbos uh all that heat that would be lost in the exhaust is now contained in the cooling system and what that does is effectively lowers the combustion temperature by just a little bit and allows for a little bit more aggressive tuning and that kind of thing and it's why the 27 with such a small displacement is able to make so much power uh, now this engine does not have that technology while it does make more power it doesn't make more power per cubic inch than a 27 um, if a 27 were 3.5 liters of displacement it would make more power and I think that when you have technology like the integrated exhaust manifolds, you do have limitations on displacement because if this were a uh, integrated exhaust manifold vehicle, you would need an even larger cooling capacity. And uh, I don't see why that would be a problem, why they can't just increase the cooling capacity and add the uh, integrated exhaust manifolds, but it probably has something to do with cost and how much it would cost to produce the motor because all that comes into play when you are talking about making an engine. You know, adding integrated exhaust manifolds, water-cooled exhaust adds cost. I think, I don't know, maybe it's cheaper to do that, but maybe there's some engineering uh, efforts that would come into place. I mean, that is a good question, I don't know. I wanna make a quick observation though while I'm here with the uh, direct injection and the dual injection found in the 2018 now well, I had the 27 before this and I will say I used to always notice this black like stuff 
on the driveway like a black carbon coming out of the exhaust and I will say this exhaust is a lot cleaner it doesn't have the black carbon uh, falling on the ground now looking here this is a direct injected engine this is a uh, edge uh, with an EcoBoost as you can see there it's got a titanium EcoBoost uh, this exhaust is full of carbon like literally it's like so dark and I don't think the 18 is like that. Let's take a look. I don't think it really gets dirty like that. Let's see, uh, still not quite as bad. Still does, but not quite as bad. But I don't know, I think it's gonna be, uh, I think Ford Solution will work for direct injection, adding dual injection and port injection but only time will tell so anyway guys thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already uh check out our other f-150 videos we got some towing stuff and different stuff on the channel and uh leave a comment i'll try to respond to everybody and anyway thank you for watching have a great day and hope to hear from you soon